Hello, welcome to the March Not Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about this privacy keyboard, this new one, the FUTO, F-U-T-O, right? Uh, I'm going to talk about what it is and tell you everything that you need to know. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So FUTO keyboard is a privacy focused open source Android keyboard that does not require an internet connection for its features. It is designed to respect user privacy and security by not collecting any data or transmitting it over the internet. The keyboard includes features such as offline voice input, swipe to type functionality, smart autocorrect and predictive text, right? It is currently in the alpha stage and available for download from various sources, including the Play Store, F Droid and Obtainium, right? So how does Futo keyboard compare to the other privacy focused keyboards, right? Futo keyboard is similar to other privacy focused open source Android keyboards in that it does not require uh, an internet connection for its features and aims to respect user privacy by not collecting or transmitting data, any data, right? However, Futo keyboard includes some unique features that set it apart. Uh, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. So you have the on offline voice input, right? Futo keyboard includes a polished offline uh, voice input capability designed for dictation, which is not present in many other privacy focused keyboards. The voice input uses the Futo uh, voice uh, input add-on and does not require an internet connection. Transformer based predictions and auto correct, right? Futo keyboards uses the llama.cpp library to power its transformer based predictive text uh, and autocorrect features allowing for intelligent spelling suggestions and reduced typing mistakes while remaining fully offline and then you have the swipe to type photo keyboard includes a smooth swipe to type functionality in alpha allowing users to type faster by swiping between keys personalization options user can users right can choose from a variety of themes to personalize the look of their photo keyboard to match their style however Futo Keyboard's license is quite broad, prohibiting commercial use beyond personal, non-profit, or hobby purposes. This may limit its adoption compared to keyboards with more permissive licenses, right? Overall, Futo Keyboard stands out with its offline voice input, advanced prediction algorithms, and customization options while maintaining a strong focus on privacy but its restrictive license could be a drawback for some users. So Futo keyboard is designed to be a privacy focused keyboard, but it does not, uh, it does, you know, it, there are some limitations, right? And, and, and some risk involved, some risk involved. One of the risks is current network access, right? Although the ultimate goal is removing network permissions, the app currently has internet access for update checks and crash reporting. You have license restrictions, right? The Futo Source First List 1.0 is not fully open source and has restrictions and missing features, right? The keyboard is still in alpha and lacks some features such as clipboard functionality. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.